if someone doesn't behave the right way to me and now i need to record because i cannot not think i will think what should i record so that it's a comfortable recording for me what should i record what should i record it's their choice what else i have to record i have to respond to the scene what should i record han ji they have different okay do each one of us have a different way of thinking we have a different way of thinking is it normal to have different ways of thinking yes okay sister kalpana 45 years of your life 45 years of my life could we have had the similar situations in our life no so recording on your cd and recording on my cd will be different yes yes now only 45 years in this lifetime recording on my cd and recording on her cd is different before this where was i before this 45 years in this costume where was i i was in another costume different family different country different situations different recording 100 years there before that another costume before that another costume it's like a cd with so many songs cd with so many songs different costume different situations different scenes different recordings two cds one day both the cds got married sister now you have to look at the cd sitting next to you what happens is we look at the other person and say my husband not my husband soul on a very 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 long journey when i look at them and say my husband i have my image ready how i want my husband to be and image also is created based on my recording because all of us will not create the same image of how a husband should be so the husband has to match my perception of the right husband which will be created based on my recording the other soul has been on a long journey created many many different sanskars both these cds come together and they look at each other and say how can you be like this they say how can you be like this and then we have a pure intention of copying the song from our cd onto their cd you just becomes little bit like this and our house will become heaven on earth and while we were trying to copy our songs onto the other cd in 2 3 years time we had a third cd in the house maybe have a third cd yes and we believed it was going to be a blank cd yeah and they must have thought that i will write this song on the blank cd and i will write this song on the blank cd and the, that cd came full every soul is on a long journey they are not my children they are soul on a journey with me in this costume for this 100 years before this another set of parents another costume another culture another situation another set of recordings and before that and before that and before that how can they be just the way i want them to be and that's why the first thing that spirituality helps us to do is to accept people with sanskars nature personality habits which is completely different from us because we are not going to look at them as my parent my husband my child but we are going to look at them as a soul on a very very long journey not expect them to have the same sanskar as me but to accept that they are carrying their that they are carrying their own sanskars and and role of family and friends is to help each other 
to create new sanskars while on this journey. But to help them to create new sanskars, I have to first accept their existing sanskars. So expectation, expectation that you should be my way, this expectation is a programming which needs to change. Because it is this expectation which causes me to create wrong recordings then because people don't match my expectation. They cannot. They are not carrying the same sanskar. Their journey has been completely different. We are here together only for these hundred years. After these hundred years also their journey will be different. My journey will be different. While we are here together for these hundred years, let's make these hundred years together a beautiful experience which can happen only if I shift my recording from I expect you to be my way to I accept you the way you are. Expectation is normal or acceptance is normal? Expectation is abnormal. Achha. Expectation normal or acceptance normal? Just look at the person sitting next to you. Even whether it's family or it's a stranger. Doesn't matter. Just look at them for 10 seconds. Look at them. Look at each other. Just careful. Take a 10 second pause. Silence. Look at them. Look at them. Don't look at what you see, not the face, the body, definitely not the red sweater. Don't look at what they're wearing. Don't look at the other costume which they're wearing below the sweater, which is their body. Just look at the person. Just look at the person and now create a thought. Just create a thought. This soul has been on a long, 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 long journey. Of 500, 1000, 2000, 5000 years. Many costumes, different families, different cultures, different situations in life. And in each one of them, they created a recording, a sanskar. And today they are here with all those recordings. Can they be my way? Can they be my way? Is it fair for me to want them to be my way? Can I be their way. No. Why? Because I have also been on a, they have also been on a long journey. Completely. We may be living with someone with whom not a single sanskar matches. Does that happen? We could have to work with someone with whom not a single sanskar matches. And that's why when we say she and me are like what do we say? She and me are poles apart. <laughs> poles apart means we have no matching song on the CD, both of us. Which is possible. And when we are poles apart, how can I expect them to be my way? How can I record a sad song when they are not my way? How can I live unhappy with them every day? Is it normal to accept people? Normal? to accept people or is it normal to expect them to be my way? From today, do one little exercise at home, only at home. Do it only at home first. Two, three, four people at home, family. Just look at them every day. Give 20 seconds to this exercise for the next one week and just look at them and create one thought. Soul on a very long journey. I don't even know what all they have seen in the many lifetimes. 
and then create a blessing for them. Here, I accept you as you are. I accept you as you are. Can we create these three thoughts? Can we create these three thoughts? One, don't look at them, my spouse, my child. Soul on a very long journey. Seen a lot, different, different, different scenes in these thousands of years. I accept you as you are. Can we do these three things, three thoughts? Now, when we do this, what is going to happen? When we do this, what is going to happen? We are changing the recording on our CD. This recording, which we are carrying since many lifetimes, which says, I expect you to be my way. Second recording, I will be happy when you are my way. Third recording, I'm unhappy when you are not my way. And fourth recording, you are the cause of my pain. You see the difference between two recordings? And when we start holding people responsible for the cause of our pain, we live in pain. We live in pain. Then we either move away from them or we live there, but we live there like a victim that I have to live in pain. This is my destiny. But we don't choose the third option to understand that their sanskar is theirs. My recording is mine. Accepting them is normal. And when we accept them, it does not mean that they will create that sanskar and live with that sanskar forever. But it means we are radiating the power and the love to them for them to be able to create a new recording. This lifetime, 100 years, is for creating new recordings. Let's say, let's say my spouse carries a sanskar to doubt. Somebody can carry a sanskar to doubt. And the other person carries a sanskar of trust. Is it possible for two people to carry different personality traits? Yes? Can you identify one personality trait which is completely opposite between you and someone very close to you. See if you find one. And once you find one, raise your hand. Any one person close to you and any one sanskar or nature which is different between both of you, very different, opposite. Doubt, trust, punctual, late, clean, messy. Easy one, you know? Appreciating, criticizing, adjusting, dominating, opposite sanskars. Anyone found it? You're not going to share it. You don't have to share it. It's just whether we are able to see it. Right? Now, my role as family and friends is also to help the other person to record a new comfortable sanskar. It doesn't mean that the recordings I carried from my previous life is the ones which I will keep playing in these hundred years. We can help each other and we can do it for ourselves to record new sanskars. But to record that new sanskar, what is it that we need? Suppose I have the sanskar to doubt. And you're going to help me to record a sanskar to trust. So just by saying to me every day, how can you doubt people? You should be more trusting. Will I create a sanskar of trust? Yes? By ridiculing me every day, how strange you are. You keep doubting everybody. I just don't understand how you can doubt everyone. Will I be able to trust people that way? Yes? No. So how will I create a sanskar of trust? What would you do for that? Help me to create a sanskar of trust. I want to create, but I have a sanskar of doubt. 
what would I create? You're my family. Help me to create a new recording. Okay, by you trusting me, very beautiful. So when you trust me, you are radiating vibrations of trust to me. That will give me a chance to absorb energy of trust. Beautiful. What else? Help me to create a new habit. Okay, let's first check the don'ts. What should you not do so that I can change my habit? First the don'ts, then the do's. What should you definitely not do to help me to change the habit? Don't. Very good. Don't keep saying to me that I doubt too much. Sure? How many feel we should not keep saying it to them? You doubt too much. You doubt too much. Agreed? So from today, when we go home, we know what not to do. We know what not to do. Because actually, we do exactly that what we should not do. And when they say to me repeatedly, don't doubt so much, don't doubt so much. How can you keep doubting? That energy of doubt and that energy of criticism, that energy of ridicule, depletes soul power and when soul power gets depleted my chances of changing that sanskar what will happen my chances of changing that sanskar will 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 reduce because i'm getting depleted before i change my sanskar you need to empower me People don't need advice. People need power to change. So the first don't. Don't criticize me. Don't keep reminding me of the sanskar I have. One. Second. Anything else not to do? Anything else not to do? No. It's all about me right now. You are going to help me to change my sanskar. So don't rewind the past and keep telling me every time that I doubted people. Very good. Third, don't compare me with someone else. Don't compare me with other people. Other people could be a sibling. Don't compare and say, look at so and so. Look how easily they can do it. Why can you not do it? No. They can do it easily because they are carrying that recording. So what they are carrying is going to come very easy to them. But if you compare me with them, what does it do to my self-respect? Down. Soul power? Down. Chances of creating the sanskar? Down. So no criticism. No ridicule. No referring to that same sanskar and no comparing me with someone else because the other soul has been on a completely different journey. I have been on a completely different journey. So each soul is going to be treated individually. So that is the don'ts. Now the do's. Now the do's. This is not to be done. Now what is to be done? Raise my vibration. Beautiful. So how to raise my vibration? Hanji? Appreciate me. I have to check why I am causing the doubt. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you the method that I learned. When I came to the Brahma Kumaris for the first time, carrying all my sanskars, all my recordings, and the first time that I came to the center, the first time I learned meditation, and the first line I learned in that was, I am a pure being. No purity, lot of adulteration over here. 
lot of desires, lot of asking, lot of seeking, lot of clutter. But the first line that I was given to contemplate, to work, to churn. And the first blessing that I got from God to me, from the family to me, family means the sisters and brothers at the center, they said, you are a pure being. And I was like, no, I'm not. They said, no, you are. I said, no, I'm not. They said, just say, I am a pure being. Next day, you are a peaceful being. I said, no, I'm quite angry. I said, no, you are a peaceful being. They were saying everything which was opposite of who I am. But they were not talking about who I am. They were talking about everything which I believed I was not. So they said, you are a peaceful being. You are a powerful being. You are a loveful being. You are a pure being. And that day, when I started taking that line, and I started saying it to myself every day, I am pure being. I am powerful being. I am loveful being. Nothing happened first few days. But I just kept saying it because they taught me, you say it. And they said it to me and I said it to myself. After a few days, few months, I found that my anger was reducing. My expectations were reducing. My fear, my stress was reducing. I said, how come it's reducing? Nobody talked about it yet. But that was the secret of reducing it. That was the science, the spiritual science behind changing the sanskar. Don't talk, don't think, don't mention, don't discuss that what is, but think, talk, discuss, churn, meditate, only that what you want them to become. And when they did that, they were radiating to me the vibrations of purity, peace, love, and that energy helped me to emerge that recording inside me.